I'm incredibly lucky to have spent so much time on the Kenyan coast growing up. It was my favorite place. We had a house on this wild coastline. In the morning, I would wake up and run down to the beach. If the tide was high, I'd be snorkeling. And if it was low, I'd be out on the rock pools, looking in all the little pools to see all the different critters you could find. But as I grew up, I started to notice changes. It seemed like all the things I remember were slowly disappearing. Vibrant coral communities all of a sudden gone. This is what led me to become an underwater filmmaker. Because I know growing up in Kenya, you know, we're a country that's known for our conservation on land, but the ocean is this foreign place. To go underwater, to be comfortable underwater, not many people are fine with that. And it's the place that I love the most. It's also important to focus on positive stories about the environment and how things can bounce back. And that's what led me to this incredible story of humpback whales. Now, there's a humpback whale migration off the East African coast. It was estimated that in the 70s, there was only three to 500 individuals. And now, over 34,000. So with a National Geographic grant, I set out to make a film about humpback whales. And as wildlife filmmaking goes, last year, they decided not to show up. But through this whole process, it was also incredibly important for me to understand the audience that I wanted this film to be for. And those are the local communities on the coast. So we had been interviewing local fishermen to try and find stories about humpback whales. However, for them, there were far bigger issues that they felt needed to be addressed. It was a lot harder to go fishing. They had to go further and fish stocks were dwindling. And also they started to notice people fishing badly. These elder fishermen wanted the younger generation to understand just how the ocean was. So from a humpback whale film, we ended up with a conservation film, but one that was talking from a community to its own members in Swahili. Now, we didn't expect how well this film would do. We were a finalist in this year's Jackson Wild Media Awards, but more importantly, we've been using this film in the local community. And just the other day, we had a meeting with local stakeholders, and we're in talks about trying to create a new marine protected area around the areas that we actually filmed during this whole process. So it's a hugely exciting time for us to think that we could have a new marine protected area soon, and one that is community-based and community-driven. So if you want to get involved, you can actually follow us on eastafricanoceanexplorers.org or get in touch and I'd be happy to tell you more. Thank you.